There he is, right there. Smacked it. Yep, got him. Oh yeah, feels like good fish. You know, I'm out walleye fishing today and, and if you watch Lindy's Fish Head television, you know trolling's one of my favorite ways to catch fish. And that's because it's just, it's consistent. It's a consistent way to catch fish, spring, summer, fall. It's a way to cover ground, it's a way to find fish. It's a way to make sure that you've got some action during the day. And I'll tell you, I've got to, I've, I, I try hard to not have favorite lures, but I'll tell you this too. I do have some that I tend to start with at certain times of the year. So what I'm doing right now, I mean, we're talking midsummer, is I'm trolling lead core because I got to get down really deep, but I also want a lure that's going to have a lot of action to it. So I'm using a Bomber 15A. And I think, I think a Bomber 15A is one of the most overlooked walleye lures in the world. I have caught so many walleyes on this lure. This one feels like he's got himself turned a little funny. There he is. Well, maybe it's just a big fish. He's mouth forward. I better just slow this thing down a little bit. Let's drop it down to idle and bring him the rest of the way here to make sure. Ah, yeah, he's got himself a little twisted up, but he's a pretty good fish regardless. You can see him back there, mouth first, coming at us. But I think one of the biggest things that makes a difference when I'm choosing lures is also choosing the right colors for the body of water I'm fishing, okay? So, you know, here I am with these 15 A's today and you can say, well, you know, you got the lure, you got the right action. But I'll tell you something, you gotta get the right colors too. You gotta get everything right about it to make sure you're gonna catch fish throughout the day. Pretty good eye. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, really nice walleye. Oh, and then I got my net hung up there. Got him. Great fish. But here's one of the things I do, is I really start by looking at the body of water I'm fishing. What's the water clarity like? Is it clean? Is it dirty? And that's the first thing I look at, okay? So today I'm fishing a pretty clean body of water. This water's pretty gin clear. a boy. See that, he did a little headstand there. <laughs> this body of water though, it's, this is, it's pretty gin clear. So ultimately, these fish can see pretty well. So one of the things I decided to do right away today, when I got out here, let me get this boat turned is I decided that the number one thing I needed to do was look pretty natural, because these fish, they can see pretty well, okay? If I was in dirty water, I might use something really bright. Let me show you something. If I was starting, now this is a Bomber 25A, okay? If I was in dirty water, that's the kind of stuff I'm gonna start with right there. Something that's just gonna blow up in their face. Something that's really, really heavy as far as color. It's gonna grab their attention. It's bright in that dirty water, they can find it. But when you look at what I'm doing today, and the fish I'm catching today on this clean water, I chose to go with something much more natural. And the reason I did that is because they can see pretty well in color when you get it dialed in, I think can be the most important thing a lot of days because here's the thing, these fish, they know what they're eating. In this body of water, they're eating one of two things. They're eating perch or they're eating minnows of a silver sided variety. So there's a couple different colors I've been using today. This one's just been on fire. And this is just emulating a perch. I mean, I'm just trying to look like a perch down there. You look at that, it's got the green in it. It's got some white belly, just like a perch would have. And I'll tell you what, this thing's just been deadly. So ultimately, keep that in mind, when you're picking colors, and incidentally, one of the really cool things about the Bomber 15A lineup is there's a zillion colors, it seems like. I mean, it's just awesome. There's tons of colors, tons of great colors but try to pick number one based on your water clarity. In clear water, pick your natural stuff, your silver-sided stuff, your blues, your purples, that kind of stuff, you know, your perch stuff, your greens. But if you're in dirty water, go to your things like Fire Tiger, go to your big blow-up colors, you know, stuff that you think of for only Great Lakes. Let me tell you, in dirty stained inland water, they're just deadly. Pretty tough to beat a bomber lure. They've got awesome paint jobs, tons of colors, a whole variety of different models in the 24A, 15A, and 25A. 
you're gonna find something that catches fish no matter where you're going.